I wanted to record this video to talk about, well, you guessed it, the title of the video. How we farmed our mysterious magical headhunter in 50 hours from League Start. To some players, you're gonna say, wow, that's a little slow. Other people are gonna be like, that's actually crazy. But one of the most common questions that I've got is, how did you do it? What did you do? Who did you do it with? And well, can you walk us through the plans? I can, I will, I want to. But before I do that, I really wanna spend a minute and just say that the race and rush to Headhunter or to that big chase item hours into a league is, is one of the coolest, funnest experiences I've managed to have in a long time playing this game. I um, originally was going into it with a group of three. Uh, it was going to be me, my buddy Gilly, and my friend Shoto. And then Gilly's computer blew up. He decided that when he heard he had to do Chaos Recipe, he uh, chucked his computer out a window and poured liquid metal into it and exploded it. So we picked up an, another guy along the way. But we were a three-man party. And I had the, the greatest pleasure of spending my weekend playing with my buddy Shotokin and my buddy Spider. And honest to God, it's probably some of the best Path of Exile I've ever had to play. I think one of the greatest things about League Start is finding that group that you can play with. And I have my buddy Scott, my buddy Cobe. Last league, I played with the boys from the Discord. And, you know, I just want to say for like a minute, like hanging with you guys and playing the game with you guys and spending time with you guys and League starting with you guys and planning around you guys and doing all that stuff. Like, thanks. Seriously, you know, maybe we don't get to say it as often as we should, but you guys make this game great. You, you know, the cool ideas that you come up with from telling me to go do labs, freaking Balefire, to just like playing the game. Like this weekend was awesome and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Sure, we could have done things better. We could have aimed for more divines. We could be bashing. We could have been bashing our heads against the wall doing div card farming, but we played with the boys and it was great and it was wonderful and I wouldn't change a thing, so. Just a big thank you to Shoto for, you know, putting up with my shenanigans and Spider for stepping in last minute and helping. But let's let's go back to the beginning and talk about how we made it here, what we did and how we got there. Originally, the group I had mentioned was going to be my buddy Gilly. Gilly was going to fill the role of the trader slash chaos recipe bot slash heister. Shoto was going to play the carry and I was going to play the aura bot. I actually have up here the POBs, a lot of people asked about where our characters were, where we ended, what our gear looked like, and I have all that. And originally the plan was to do that. We were going to start the campaign. We were going to log in together. We were going to wait for the queue. We were going to start playing. And the idea was that the aura bot was supposed to experience in all the zones while Shoto and Gilly went through the axe and they split the axe. So like going to act two, for example, somebody would go left, somebody would go right, and you would just teleport all around for all the quest objectives. Well, League Start broke. Gilly's computer just died. Uh, Shadow couldn't log in the GeForce now to play via the cloud. And, you know, it was a bit of a struggle where like the Aura Bot didn't convert to an Aura Bot until later on. And, you know, we went through the campaign. Our campaign time took us about seven hours with the, the new Necropolis, Necropolis mechanic where you had to deal with everything in every zone. Plus the hiccups with, um, you know, having to find somebody to fill in Gilly's spot. And overall, the campaign wasn't that bad. You know, Necropolis is a really interesting league mechanic and the ups and downs of it will save for another day. And we'll we'll pretty much talk about that later. But overall, you know, we we had a really interesting, fun campaign. It wasn't very hard. It wasn't very difficult. IRL stepped in a couple of times. You know, I had to AFK. Other people had to AFK. Things got in the way. And overall, it wasn't that bad. You know, we just kind of like played the game and had fun. As we got through the campaign and we got two maps, things got a little bit more hectic. People keep saying to me, how did you do it? What did you do? What was your strategy? Well, when we got to maps, we split off. Spider was a little behind because we picked him up later because Gilly's computer died around Act 6. And when we got to maps, we did, and this is going to be a very basic rough draft, we essentially just came up the tree and took a bunch of Kirak nodes. And this was the start of our Alice. We really took advantage of Kirak a lot. We didn't do what a lot of the people were originally theorizing and going to Unwavering Visions. We found that very, very early in our play that scarabs were dropping like wildfire. We had a ton of scarabs. And overall, our plan was to just progress through the Alice. By like our 11 or 12 of the league, we were pretty deep in the red. You know, we were pushing into our completion. 
we had overall finished map completion 115 maps or like 100 maps whatever it was uh, we did all of the maps minus like four unique maps by the end of night one so we get together we do the campaign we do the atlas and we just kind of blister the atlas we take the very basic nodes where we uptick our maps and like you know this is obviously not 100 percent accurate um i don't have the atlas uh you know we just kind of built it on the fly and we overall we just went for map drops map completion and map you know all the all the fun stuff for maps we really didn't start making our money until later on once we started completing and got a bunch of points essentially what we did for our money early was we ended up aiming for a ruckus strategy where we essentially just took all of the rogue exile nodes alongside the kirak nodes and we started really pushing overall for a ruckus strategy pretty much i i've never done this before i didn't really know this was like a thing until just recently because I, I never really do chaos recipe but essentially we just started filling out our atlas and we stayed after we filled out our atlas we stayed in low tier maps sub yellow maps and we just farmed rogue exiles and we farmed rogue exiles and we farmed rogue exiles and we farmed rogue exiles and our first hundred points were put into an atlas tree very similar to something like this where when you have like 20 rogue exiles on a map you have a lot of chaos recipe and there's more stuff in a map than you can actively pull out so that was that was that was a really big learning experience for me you know friday night you know spiders like i'm gonna be the trader and we're like all right listen there's four thousand armors 300 heads four billion pieces of jewelry one belt uh one ring uh one boot and uh figure out chaos recipe and he was like dear god what did i just get into so we spent day one doing chaos recipe we played league start till about three in the morning on friday i won't even try to hide or saturday whatever it is i won't even try to hide how long i think we played for about 12 hours we broke at three in the morning and we set an alarm to meet back up in eight hours so we planned for six and a half hours of sleep plus you know time for falling asleep breakfast stuff like that whatever and we planned to meet back up in eight hours eight hours in we started you know doing a little bit more chaos recipe and we were really at a loss we didn't know what to do we were pretty much on like this like oh god plan we, we were confused we didn't really know what to do so we talked to another buddy of ours and we were like hey man like what do we do and our buddy was just like full send legion you know the whole dunes legion thing that like a, a bunch of lightning arrow guys do so we full send dune legion and we're just like clearing the map we're getting emblems emblems are dropping like crazy and at this point we are using the second atlas tree so if you guys are aware you have access to more than one atlas tree now and it makes things really kind of cool so essentially what we did was we used the second atlas tree to just like full send and like once again this is just like a rough draft here but we pretty much just used the second atlas tree to do like a full send legion strategy where we just went in we took all the good legion nodes all the sergeant nodes and we attempted to buy scarabs to just full send legion the big problem with this league and i'm sure a lot of you guys are having the same problem that we're having is that scarabs are really hard to buy and they make things really interesting in the fact that like if you're going to like farm a mechanic you want to invest as many scarabs as you could so getting the scarabs for legion were really difficult and it wasn't the easiest thing so we're now we're doing yellow tier maps we're full sending legion we're pushing our way with gear into reds and we want to maintain and sustain reds so that we can farm currency and take advantage of altars but we're having a hard time getting the scarabs we're having a hard time pushing the gear and our buddy reality goes well how much are four-way sets how many sets have you guys farmed up and we had about 10 10 sets of emblems for four ways farmed up so he goes can you guys hop into a four-way and see what happens so we hop into a four-way legion farming session we try it out we gain some experience we gain some some basic bubblegum loot a couple of timeless jewels and we're pretty much just like all right cool we have 10 sets of legion emblems we have about an hour let's kill an hour let's bang out all of these sets let's get some some levels some currency get a couple of timeless jewels see if we can find like a nice double damage jewel for the carry and go from there 
After 10 sets of lesion and reevaluating gear, the carries gear looked like this. We had a pretty nice bow from the currency that we farmed and had dropped inside of Legion. We picked up a rat's nest, a pretty okay quiver, you know, an okay necklace. We were able to buy a taming from all the chaos recipe. We picked up Tanuahis and we got an inspired learning because we were doing Legion and we were doing the whole four way thing. So four ways are going great. Spider then goes, hey, by the way, these timely jewels are selling really well. And we're like, what do you mean? He goes, well, this one that you got just sold for like 10 divs. Now we're talking like Saturday afternoon. Some crazy person's buying a timely jewel for 10 divs. And we're we're sitting there pretty dumbfounded. We don't know what to do. That was probably the moment that we were like, holy hell, we should keep doing this. So we ring our buddy reality and we're like, hey, man, like this is just what happened. He hops on and he goes to like POE trade and he starts like looking up all the timely shuls and he's just like hey man timely shuls are cracked the cheapest ones are divine of any type he said zabakwas are 75c so that's the red one so we say okay so what do we do he goes well continue doing four ways but don't do the red emblem so we're doing yellow green white and orange we're skipping red altogether, and we started getting a bunch of timeless jewels and you know we would get these like these militant faiths with Dominus and those would just sell for five divs because they had the word Dominus on them because the Dominus one gave inner conviction. We'd get the yellow jewels with Bala Bala. Those would sell for three divs just because it said Bala Bala and we just sold them immediately. So we would just send five way sets or four way sets. And we did this for a couple of hours. We got a bit of gear and we got the Orobot to a pretty sustainable spot. We converted off the whole tripping on thing. Originally, we were tripping on and we were doing the whole tripping on stuff with the Perkles toe and all the, the life based shenanigans. And like I said, this is this will be all in the description for you. And we convert the Orobot to a, a bright beak, a Matu Tapuna, a cluster, and we just start going. So we spent a couple of divs. We convert the Orobot over to other cool stuff and we just we start cranking out five ways saturday night we're at four doctor cards so saturday night like one in the morning two in the morning we're at four doctor cards and we're getting tired we're getting slow um legion sets are pushing up to 40 c a set it's 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 getting rough and tiring and we know sunday's easter so Shoto's got plans with his dad in the morning. Spider's got stuff with the family. I had stuff going on. So we break. We get up. We set an alarm for eight hours again. We get up. We go do our family stuff. We spend time with our loved ones. And we come back to grinding. We sit down to start playing again. Um, about 12 hours later. So we get back to the computer at 2, 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. Or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And... Shoto had went and bought a carry for the fifth map slot device. So the plan is to just straight send Legion. So we buy a carry for the fifth map slot device. The carry we got uh, early in the morning for like 50 C. Somebody sold a tier 17 carry. And we started just full sending Legion sets. With so many of you guys farming Legion, sets were like 20 C a set, 25 C a set. And, you know, we reached out to a bunch of Legion farmers like, thank you, Bubbles and Sacks those guys had like 20 sets each so we sold sold a couple of timeless jewels we had a bunch of divines and we just like full scent just full scent and we got really lucky we did we did we got really 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 lucky we just did a bunch of just a bunch of fucking just, we just did a bunch of these and we just sent and sent and sent and sent and we ended we ended like this and i i will tell you that Timeless rules are crazy. They're absolutely out of control. People keep asking us, like, what the trick was? Did we do div cards? Did we do this? Did we do that? We just we just sent five ways, man. We just sent five ways. That's all we did. You know? And it wasn't bad. But if you're looking for an aura bot, this this was like super fun to play. You know, I've got the whole leveling progression here that you guys can follow into tripping on and to tripping on with mid-game gear and then the swapped life base gear. And as far as like our carry goes, we we did the whole galvanic arrow into lightning arrow and to just everything. I will say that um, one of the coolest things about what we were doing is the learning experience of you know swapping roles. 
usually I play carry, I played or about this time and vice versa. And it's, it's a really big learning experience and a big learning curve. And I, I really encourage you guys to try it if you can, but there was no really big trick to our success. We, we got together as a three man party and we were very diligent, you know, we made sure we farmed, we put our money, you know, we, we invested our money and we never really stopped. You know, we, there's a whole joke with other farming groups where you just like scream a word when somebody's dirtling and we just never spent a lot of time in the hideout. So if you're looking, if you're looking for like the best way to make currency and the best way to do things, it's, it's just don't spend time doing nothing, constantly invest. We had an edge for sure. We, um, we were a three man party with the knowledge of another guy who constantly had hunters on day two. So we had coaching, which really helped a lot. And the knowledge that reality brought to us is something that I want to be able to pass on to you guys to how to do things. It really helps to have a trader. Um, it really speeds up the process a lot. Spider really stepped up and he did an absolutely fantastic job. Having somebody like Shodokin, who is very smart with the game and understands the game on levels that I am still learning is, is really valuable. And just having players that you can just laugh with and have a good time with and call each other like jerks and just play the game and bust each other's balls the entire time helps. There was no better way to spend the time than grinding with homies that you can spend your time with and and just, just chill with. It's probably one of the best experiences. It's playing the game with people that you can laugh with and joke with and not worry about currency. We were able to put everything into a guild bank. Spider was able to take out everything. We didn't have to ask him a single question about where money was going. We didn't have to ask him a question about what he was spending or how he was spending it. It was it was absolutely fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic. And I, I really suggest that if you're going to play with friends and you're going to like split currency and you're going to have a trader play with people that you could just vibe with and that you don't have to worry about robbing you. Because we would be in five ways and we would just like leave our 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 our, our whole thing went like this. We would open a five way, go into a five way, do the five way, loot the five way, go to our stash, drop everything off, open a five way and go into a five way. And that whole process of like going in, doing it, looting, dumping and going back in was like seven or eight minutes. And you would just, just in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. And then, um, you know, we'd be laughing in discord and he'd be like, Hey spider. And he'd be like, yeah, we like, we need this. Or we're on our last like five sets. Can you go get us sets? And he would bust his butt and he would just put things on our pickup tab. And we were able to like, just like five way into five way into five way into five way into five way. The only thing I'll say about five ways is they get mind numbing real quick. I don't know how five way runners do it. It, it gets absolutely mind numbing so damn quick. Miss just, just terrible, just terrible. Absolutely terrible, terrible, but it's fun. The only thing I would say is if you're going to do it, oh, I hate chaos recipe, man. Chaos recipe sucked. I would suggest instead of chaos recipe, just go into blight maps. Absolutely go into blight maps. Just do blight maps. Just anything, anything but chaos recipe. Buy blight maps, sit in blight maps. With this gear right now on my aura bot, I never had to attack. I never had to do anything. I was able to just build towers, triple amber oils, live my best life. It was great. It was wonderful. It was awesome. It was fantastic. But yeah, I've I've had so many people today say congratulations on the head 150 hours. Like that's really cool. And it, it is. It's awesome. It's it's probably some of the most fun I've had in PUE in terms of like just like busting my ass on League Start. It was cool. It was fun. And I played with a great group of guys. And if I were to give advice to you guys on how to do it, it's find people you can play with, find people that you can just have a really good time with, have a plan, have a real big plan. Like we had we 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 prepped out POBs. For our characters we knew what we were doing every step of the way we knew when we were going to need gear we knew when we were going to change we knew exactly what we were going to do and we stuck to a plan and it was rewarding and we got our headhunter we stuck to a plan we got the item and we did what we needed to do and it's fun it's it's crazy another piece of advice that i can give you if you don't have a trader and it's just you and your homie or it's you by yourself and you're really grinding for it we never held on to alterations. We never held on to scours, to chances, to alks, none of that. The minute we decided to do five ways, we just got rid of everything. When we were doing alk and go white maps for chaos recipe, once again, we never held on to alks. We never held on to chances or fusings or jewelers or instilling orbs. 
We never held on to baubles, whetstones, armor stones, nothing. If we got it, Spider would take it and sell it. As soon as we had enough for a couple of chaos, or as soon as we had like big stacks of it, he would just ship it. He had sell orders going the entire time and buy orders going for the entire time just to constantly move currency. And that's one of the things that I think you guys should really take and understand is just like one of the best ways to make currency is to stop sitting on things. We would sell scarabs, one C a piece. Extra scarabs, one, two, three C a piece. We lost money, we didn't care. Just get rid of your stuff, sell your stuff. And while max value is great, max value kind of hurts you in the long run because like if you need an item and you're racing the clock like we were racing, when we started buying doctors, they were like eight divs a piece. By the time we bought the last doctor, it was like 14 divs or 13 divs, something crazy like that. So, you know, just having to race the clock of currency and, you just get rid of what you don't need and just constantly sell everything and just get rid of all of it and get rid of all of it and get rid of all of it. Even now I'm currently, you know, working on my next character. I am, I'm leveling my hex blast miner that, or that I've done the videos on and all the currency that I'm getting in a sanctum. Every time I'm done with a sanctum, like as soon as I'm done recording this video, now I'm going to go sell all my currency, buy more tomes, buy more gear and do more things. The hex blast character, because the, the, the duo was at work. He decided that he likes having a job and a house and responsibilities and money. And, and um, he's just let, leaving me to play by myself. So I got to do Sanctum. <laughs> he's at work, man. <laughs> but all in all, yeah, I, I hope this video helps. I hope these POBs help. I hope you got something out of this. But I really just wanted to share the story of like, how we did it, what we did, and how we got there. I figured, you know, a lot of people asked me today about it. I just kind of wanted to just hang out with you guys for a minute. But for now, I'm going to get this video out to you guys. I'm going to go work on this character. See you in the stream or in the next one. Or we figure out the next cool strategy. I think there's a play for farming scarabs. But don't tell anybody yes, that's so. But for now, see you guys in the next one.